The Murfreesboro Police Department is now trying to improve response times and cut back on crime with a real time crime center. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell takes a look at how it helps the department's goal of a safer community. Murfreesboro continues to grow, and sometimes when more people move in, crime can increase. To help police officers on the streets, the police department has invested in a real-time crime center. You actually get to see the product of, you know, what happens out on the street or up in dispatch, and you get to see it from a different perspective. It's in the final stages of being completed. It will use automatic license plate readers, which are already placed around parts of the city. We get those alerts through that system in order to help with any officers that we have on the street to help identify saying, hey, we just saw this uh, potential stolen vehicle coming through this intersection where this LPR hit. Uh, let's see if we can uh, help uh, intercept it and hopefully uh, recover it. Also public safety cameras, which are in the process of being installed. Four different cameras there, multi-directional, um, fixed place, and then the circle in the middle here is a pan tilt zoom camera. Crime data analysis supervisor Ashley Smith says only information related to an active investigation will be pulled. Detectives and officers have to fill out a specific form and it has to get approved by a supervisor stating the reason as to why they are wanting this information. With the ultimate goal of increasing their solvability rate and response times. If we have an incident, I can pull up our cameras and I can be virtually on scene. Smith thinks this major investment is going to make the community safer. The quicker we can respond, the quicker we can hopefully solve the case. In Murfreesboro, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. Aaron, thanks. The police department spokesperson says camera locations were based primarily on violent crime data or in areas where a specific need has been identified. The department is also waiting on council approval to install gunshot detectors inside neighborhoods. That way police can respond in real time.